Hello and welcome to episode 37 of our Ostrov Alpha 4.6 Let's Play. It has been quite a while. It's been one month to the day, according to my Steam page at least, since I last opened this game. Been pretty busy, but excited to get back into the swing of things just a little bit today. And revisiting our Ostrov Town, trying to see exactly how much more we can get going before the next major update. We are at 1704 residents right now. And we have quite a few things still queued up in our building queue. The game has kind of gotten a little unstable the last couple times we played together on these videos or our live streams. So we're going to probably not spend a lot of time in turbo mode much anymore. But we have this house right here that was uh, never really finished. And we have the uh, kind of... I guess, conclusion of building out this farm that is happening afterward. So let's go ahead and go back up to five times speed. We'll see if they're able to actually, uh, you know, build anything here. Or if there's just going to be a whole lot of waiting. We will find out. Looks like they are building a big hay barrack here. We can actually take a look at that. Uh, family's moving out. Firewood, firewood, firewood. The eternal eternal problem here. And I wanted to say we actually fixed the firewood thing, or we thought we did. Or was that something I was going to uh, try to improve here? Because we added this forestry here to kind of take care of some things, or was this one already here and we we're going to remove it? I honestly don't remember, <laughs> so chances are you guys might have more of an idea than I do. These people also complain about firewood. Yeah, see, I thought we'd fixed this because we had firewood for sale at a couple different... Yeah, they got firewood here. What's the deal with this? Yeah, we've got plenty of firewood for sale. Well, at any rate, this hay barrack is done. This house is probably not ever going to be finished, I guess. So I think it was in the middle of last episode, too, we had problems with that. Well, we will uh, find out, I suppose. These two warehouses right here are going to be for various farm things. I think we had uh, to say well. Yeah, that's a well right there. So I think if we look at our, uh, our resources here, we have plenty of fire. We have 45,000, so I think it's a logistics problem. Might just not have quite enough uh, places to purchase for. This is still a mess up here. We need to do something with this. We will uh, We'll get there in due time. We're just we're at, we're at the point now where there's just there's so much that can be done and needs to be done that it's probably not all ever going to get done if that makes any sense. It's just the town has gotten so big it's almost almost impossible to uh, properly manage everything. Part of the reason I hadn't made a video on Ostrov in a month, and uh, part, part of it was I was hoping they would have another update out sooner rather than later, but you know how these things go. So why don't we go ahead, while we're waiting for all this stuff to get built, let's go ahead and check out how we're doing on our cows. These are still okay. Just want to make sure we don't have too many bulls. We, have, we actually already have these marked for slaughter. I might have done this toward the end of the last... Uh, Last video re we recorded here. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're not super overpopulated with bulls here. So I think we're probably in pretty good shape. Okay, this one could actually use some taking care of here. Let's go ahead and get some of that done. Yeah, we'll leave that alone there. There we go. Actually, no, we, we should leave that one alone. Okay, I think the rest of these are probably going to be pretty good, although we can do this one now. Get rid of that right there as well. Yeah. And we're right back where we started. Okay, so that's taken care of. They're working on these warehouses right here. And we have some... Uh, some messenger stuff to take care of. We'll go ahead and do that as we always do. Sunflower oil. Oh, 
Dokashi left. Alright, well, can't win them all. I can go ahead and uh, sell a lot of this stuff, though. Let's see, hemp. Go ahead and import. We never really ever have enough. Metal parts, we still have plenty of. Textile looking good. Broadcloth, we're looking fantastic. I think we're probably okay on that. So we have these other houses. These are up here? Yeah. To kind of finish this area out a little bit. I seem to recall this forestry was going to be moved. And I think what we were going to do is get rid of this once it's actually done. And then build another one down here and build a bunch of those uh, reforestation areas as the supply of trees on the map begins to d disappear. So we had some of those going on up here, I think, to pretty good degree of success. Okay, these can be planted again. Yeah, we just have to keep on top of it. That's the uh, whole deal here. All right, so obviously it's going to be quite a while before where they can even get to this. So we're actually just going to kind of leave this alone for the time being. Because it's, uh, well, you know, it's going to take 800 years to uh, really accomplish anything. And this is still a place where people can buy firewood. So we probably shouldn't disrupt that too much. But that is going to be on the docket if and when we get there to get a bunch of stuff done. I believe this warehouse is going to end up being... Let's see, what are we growing here? we got flax, buckwheat, potato, wheat, hemp. I think it's probably going to be... Well, first of all, let's see if it even is going to let us put stuff in here we want to put in. Let's see if we can, we can do textile. We can't do... Oh, I guess if I uncheck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do flax... So let's just go ahead and do 5,000 flax. And then I think we're not going to have enough space really for much, much wheat, but we can do sunflower. We're not really going to be able to store much wheat anyway because it gets used almost immediately. So we'll just make sure this is all set up like it's supposed to. Like I'm, I'm telling you folks, this is going to be slow going, so... Why don't we right now go ahead, do a little time skip here, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can get most of the rest of this built. Be back in a bit. Okay, well, that took the better part of a year in the game to build all the rest of this stuff. Just have to add some carts to this cart parking, but we have these two warehouses that will be filled with firewood at the earliest possible opportunity. These warehouses holding things from this farm. We have some more houses over here. We have four new windmills taking care of processing our wheat into flour for our citizens to consume. And we've got a whole lot of empty space still to fill up, but this game is incredibly bogged down. It is so unbelievably slow. And people are still complaining there's not enough firewood. So what we're having to do is I just, I don't think people have the time to go buy firewood because they're working everywhere. Where's this guy working? This wagon shed. Yeah, he works one of these, I think, and then she works at this farm. Okay, so maybe not. I don't know. They're just, they're not having a good time with the firewood. So for whatever reason, that just seems to be the supreme limiting factor here. Like there really is. It's like I've I've tried. I've got I've got so much firewood. Like we have plenty. We have okay. We only have seven or eight thousand right now, but we have plenty being grown. We have plenty being harvested. We've got all these forestries are making firewood non-stop. It's just uh, one of those things that the game really, really, really struggles with when you get to this sort of scale here. Of course, can't forget to save. That is always a mistake to avoid saving. So what we're going to do, probably one of the last things we're actually going to be able to do, this is going to be a, a pretty short episode, unfortunately, just because the game is so impossible to play at this point. We're going to wind this forestry down and we're going to actually move it out of the way. We're going to just move it a short while 
to right about here-ish. Just build a brand new one right there, and then once that's done, we're going to make this a reforestation area. See, these people just, I, I just, for whatever reason, it's just, it's firewood every time. Like, we have firewood, we just can't produce enough, no matter what. Doesn't make any sense. So we'll go ahead and get this demolished. Takes them 800 years to really build anything, so, you know, it's just, uh, just the way things go. We're going to keep trying to uh, get this thing over that hump. It seems to be around 18, 1800, 17, 1800, that the game just really does not want you to have any more than that unless you have everything exactly perfect. So we're just uh, we're just going to have to keep going and see what's happening. It's probably not going to be too much more episodic YouTube content with this game just because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not working. <laughs> Might be good for some live stream, so we're going to get into some other stuff. I've got some pretty fun ideas for some other games we could be playing. We will be revisiting Space Turtles. Space Turtles. World Turtles. <laughs> we will be revisiting World Turtles sometime, hopefully, in the near future. And a couple of you had been interested in that, seeing uh, progress on that. And I believe there has been an update, or there will be one soon. Uh, but I've got... Another series that will be kind of like a hybrid between live streaming and videos like this. Probably mostly using YouTube videos as a like a recap or something like that, but primarily focusing on live streaming probably on Twitch for that one. But I've got some other stuff coming up here as well. And of course, as soon as Ostrov gets another major update, we will be starting a new world for Alpha 5 or 4.7 or whatever it ends up being. The dev did uh, tease on Twitter possibly a new map as well as some interesting other features coming out as well. So we'll get this uh, we'll get this forestry all built up. We'll put in a, a reforestation area. It's like these people just they just keep moving out. It's whatever it is, it's this firewood. Just We cannot keep enough of it in stock. Just it's it's kind of ridiculous. So we'll uh, we'll we'll figure out what we can figure out because you know not everything's gonna be perfect all the time. That's just life. You don't really get to make the rules; you just have to follow them. And if the game decides it doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to be played a certain way, then well, that's all there is to it. Yeah. See, look look at this. We got a we got a mass exodus of people about firewood now. Which is uh, potentially disastrous. <laughs> so we're we're gonna try to uh, avoid exacerbating that at all. And we're just gonna focus this guy on forestry, making firewood. Yeah, this is uh gonna be about as good a place to leave it as any yet. like I'm serious the, the game really is not having a good time you can see uh, it is I mean we are at 12 times speed and it's been getting kind of angry at 12 times speed for a while now but it's uh it, it's just rough times are rough out here in Ostropland and we just uh, we just keep on having families move out so I mean they're gonna they get replaced but sometimes it's uh Sometimes it's just not working. I wish you could import firewood. That would be, be very convenient if you could actually do that. But I don't think that's possible. It's so like everything else we're doing really, really well. But yeah, this is this is going to be about that time where I shut off the video and uh, put this on the back burner again for a little bit. We'll come revisit it in due time, but I did want to give you guys an update. I know it's been a while since I put a video out. I have not gone anywhere. I've just been really, really busy with real life stuff. It's the holiday season. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. Work has been busy as well, you know, which is never a bad thing. It's just, you know, sometimes it takes time away from stuff that you want to be doing, like making the videos and interacting with the community. But I do live stream here and on Twitch, hopefully trying to do at least once per week on both platforms. So if you don't already follow me over at twitch.tv slash jcthebeard, please go ahead and do so. 
uh, doing mostly RPG stuff over there, but we are going to be starting that new game series I teased, and we will uh, learn a little bit more about that as we get into the new year. Probably not going to have too much time to stream around Christmas, New Year's, if at all, but we will we'll find out when we get to that point. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of a revisit into Ostrovland and getting back around to turn a little bit, improving a few things, and uh, figuring out the firewood debacle is going to be a interesting topic for the future of this series. I think we're just about at the maximum amount of stuff we can do with this town without the game just completely losing its mind and refusing to do anything anymore. So we're, uh, we're going to eagerly await the next update and see if there's anything else we can get done before then. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I enjoy each and every one of you coming in and leaving comments, supportive, constructive, whatever you feel like doing and just being here and being a part of it is good as well. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.